Hello, boys and girls, and welcome to Perek Vav, that is chapter 6 of Shemot. And chapter 6 rhymes with sticks. That's why we're going to bring the big stick, the staff of Moshe, to tell the story of chapter 6. Hello, boys and girls, it's me, Moshe Rabbeinu, once again, back to tell you about Perek Vav, chapter 6. Well, this Perek actually goes between two parshiot. It starts off in the end of Parshat Shemot. As you can see over here from my script, that first of all, remember in the last parsha, I asked God, why have you been making things worse for the Jewish people. Well, God responds to me and says, Don't worry, Moshe. You'll see what I'll do to that wicked paro. I will make him pay for his wickedness of enslaving the Jews. Then, chapter 6 continues in Parshat Va'era, the second portion of Shemot, where God promises us, Wow, I like it when I'm in miniature. I can jump on the words. Boing, 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 boing. It's so much fun. Anyway, um, these words mean that God promises, I will take you out of being slaves. I will save you from the wicked Egyptians. I will redeem you from that land. And I will take you to be my people with the Torah. And God promises these four things. And he tells me, Moshe, don't you know that I am the eternal God? I am, I always was, I always will be. And I am the God of compassion. But the name Yud K Vav K, I mean, really with the K means a hey, but I don't want to say God's name, you know, we're not supposed to say it. But anyway... I never revealed it. And right now, I'm about to let it be known to the world to see my real name like they never saw it before. And after God tells me the four terms of redemption, the Bnei Israel, when I told them this news, they would not listen because they were so tired of getting beaten by the Egyptians, they couldn't even hear anything. I mean, look at this picture. The poor Jews all day in the hot sun getting beaten up by the Egyptian taskmasters. I mean, obviously, you know, they weren't in any mood to hear about redemptions right now. They were too busy worrying about getting whipped. And that's when Hashem told me to go back to speak to Paro. But I said, Hashem, Kal v'chomer which is an argument, which is like, for sure, Hashem, for sure, if the Jews, who are my people, won't listen to me, for sure, Paro, the wicked king of Egypt, he's not going to listen to what I have to say. Like, duh, obviously. And, but Hashem said, Moshe, don't worry. I will be with you. And then, then, the Torah stops just to let you know since me, Moshe, and my brother Aaron, we were becoming famous like celebrities. All the paparazzi were following us around, taking pictures. Well, the truth is that we didn't have cameras in those days, so there was no paparazzi, but everyone was following us, asking for our autograph on, on Egyptian papyrus. But the truth is that nobody really knows who we were, so the Torah stopped. And the Torah made a record just so everyone should know which family we came from. And the Torah lists all the generations of Yaakov and his sons, Reuven, Shimon, Levi, and lists our fathers all the way to Moshe and Aaron so everyone should know who we are. And then Hashem comes back and says, Moshe and Aaron, go speak to Paro. Don't be scared. But still, I, Moshe, I got to admit, I did drive Hashem a little bit crazy. Thank God he's God and he doesn't get upset because I was coming up with every excuse. I said, Hashem, I don't speak well. I have a speech defect. And Hashem said, 
well, you'll find out what Hashem said in the next time, but Hashem did send me again with Aaron to be my spokesman to Paro. Well, that was the real story of Perak Vav, that's chapter 6. And now, I will turn it back to you for a silly story. Thank you very much, Moshe Rabbeinu. And we'll have Moshe stand off on the side there. And now, just to remember that chapter 6 rhymes with sticks, we're going to remember a silly story. Well, in the first part of the silly story, in chapter 6, which rhymes with sticks, all of a sudden... A stick is coming out of the heavens and whack, smiting those Egyptians. Ow! Ow! Hey, what's going on? Oy vey! <laughs> it's God who is coming and God is telling Moshe he's going to pick up a big stick out of the sky and give those Egyptians a taste of their own medicine. And that is the beginning of chapter 6, which rhymes with sticks, of course. However, then, chapter 6 continues with the story of the four Lashonot of Geulah. And that's why we have four cups of wine on the holiday of Passover. Well, so first we take the sticks and we mix the wine with the sticks. Mmm, yummy wine. Why are you putting a stick in my wine? It's not a stick, it's a straw. Mm. Ooh, that wine tastes like Kool-Aid. Oh, delicious. And what is this stick? Well, this stick is a stick, a hard argument that Moshe made to God. Moshe, how could... Moshe said, God, how could Paro believe me if the Jews don't believe me? And finally, the last stick is the end of the chapter... God lined up all of the Jewish tribes. He listed all of the tribes and their children all the way until Moshe at the time. And each tribe is called a shevet. A shevet means a stick. So each shevet lined up. God lined them all up in their sticks. And God counted them to remember. Let's see. We have the tribes of... Let's make it colorful over here. We have Reuven... And Shimon, and Levi, oh yeah, etc. Dot, 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 until Moshe Rabbeinu, all their names written on sticks. Okay, that's of course the silly story, it didn't really happen. But the real story is that Moshe Rabbeinu was told by Hashem that he's going to punish Paro. And then God promised the four promises of redemption of Geula and Moshe says Hashem Paro won't listen but Hashem says don't worry I will be with you and their whole family history is listed and that is the end of chapter 6 which rhymes with thank you for listening (laughs)